Today, I want to introduce the plural forms of the nouns. In a masculine gender, the plural form of the noun has an ending e. Let's look at some examples. Sad, meaning garden. In the plural form, it will be sadi. Sad, sadi. Sin, meaning sun. Plural form, sini. Sin, sini. Zavod, meaning plant or a factory. In the plural form, it will be zavode. Zavod, zavode. Now, look, let's look at the feminine gender of the noun. It will also end in e in the plural form. Studentka, meaning student, feminine. Plural, it will be studentki. Studentka, studentki. Apteka, meaning pharmacy. In the plural form, it will be apteki. Apteka, apteki. Now, let's look at the neuter form of the noun. Usually, when a neuter form of the noun ends in o sound, in the plural form, it will end in a sound. Let's have some examples. Vikno, meaning a window. In the plural form of the noun, it will be vikna. Vikno, vikna. Misto, meaning city. Misto. In the plural form of the noun, it will be mista. Misto, mista. Usually, uh, this, uh, usually the plural form of the nouns can be substituted by the word they, meaning vone. They, vone. If you have any questions or comments or wishes about these lessons, feel free to write me a comment or send me a message.